doesn't need any introduction, Owen Jones. <laughs> Friends, sisters, brothers, what a beautiful show of solidarity, of unity, and defiance against racists and fascists and Islamophobes and anti-Semites. We stand as one people united. Whether we are black or white, whether we are Muslim, Christian, Jewish or non-believer, whether we are gay or straight, we are one people and we will never, ever let them divide us. Friends, friends, this is why we march. This is why we march. We march because there are Jews in this country and other countries who face hatred and prejudice, like the neo-Nazi Golden Dawn in Greece who feed on people's frustration and anger because of austerity. And we have a simple message for Jewish people in this country and elsewhere. We will never rest until the cancer of anti-Semitism is finally vanquished across this continent. We march as well. We march as well because of the hatred, the bile, the discrimination directed at our Muslim sisters and brothers. Islamophobia, Islamophobia fanned by the far right like the English Defence League. Islamophobia fanned by mainstream politicians like UKIP and other parties as well. Islamophobia fanned by a mainstream media which stigmatizes and attacks our Muslim citizens. And again, we have a clear message. We will not rest. We will not be silent until all forms of Islamophobia are finally buried on the rubble of history. We will defeat anti-Muslim And we march as well. We march as well because of a constant, relentless, ruthless, cynical attempt to redirect our anger at all the injustices in society away from those with power to the immigrants down the road instead. There is not enough council housing in this country because politicians haven't built it. The wages are too low because we don't have strong enough trade unions for the anti union laws. There are a lack of jobs because politicians strip those jobs from our economy. It wasn't immigrants who are responsible, it's the powerful we need to be taking on. Because they tell people, they tell people that if you can't get an affordable home or a job or you can't get a proper wage, then you should turn on your neighbour. But I will tell you this, it was not Polish fruit pickers who plunged this country into economic disaster. It was not Nigerian nurses either. And it certainly wasn't Indian doctors. It was the bankers at the top who closed this country. To the, the tax dodgers who refused to pay £25 billion of money each year as our services are trashed. They're responsible for the mess this country's in. The poverty paying bosses who don't pay a decent wage for millions of workers. Let's stop turning on each other, stop scapegoating immigrants, and take on the powerful who are responsible for the mess that this country is in. But friends, finally, finally, this is why we march. We march because of our ancestors. Our ancestors who fought at such cost, at such sacrifice against racism and against fascism like those who marched in Cable Street against Oswald Mosley's black shirts, like Blair, like Blair Peach and others who were killed as they fought against racism, and like those who lost their lives in the fight to vanquish Nazism and fascism. We stand on the shoulders of giants. We owe it to our ancestors to never, ever, ever give up. So friends, we have a clear message that we stand in solidarity with each other, that we won't turn on each other, 
but we will hold the powerful at the top to account for what they have done. And as they tie and turn us against each other, let's say loudly and defiantly, you will never, ever divide us. Never, never, never. Friends. Friends, come on. Have courage, have determination. Let's show the same determination of our ancestors. We will march until we are victorious. We stand together, we fight together. Friends, we will win the battle against racism together. Solidarity.